Vials of green liquid swirling in a San Diego state lab contain test samples of microalgae. Algae is the not-so-secret ingredient meant to bolster the guacamole with antioxidants, which protects space travelers from the high levels of radiation. On the spaceship, the food's got to travel light. The solution? Our proposed project is to have like a powder mix and then it will be hydrated in space and then uh, they will have the avocado. You could say the avocado will be a space vehicle for the algae and its nutritional firepower. The project is aimed at diversifying the diet of astronauts, and scientists chose guacamole to try to lift their spirits. They say space guac is a fun food that makes you think of parties. PhD student Gabby Canto is part of the team. This idea of, be, of, of mixing guacamole with my, uh, microalgae was so interesting for me because I'm Mexican and guacamole is part of our diet, you know. Postdoc Daniel Caro is from Colombia. So Colombia after Mexico is also like a large producer of avocados. So I was thinking, okay, what is something fun, something good to eat, something that we can freeze dry and something that is green? because microalgae are green and then avocados are green. Though algae is eaten in some human cultures, it's not known for being tasty. The word bitter better describes it, but food science can help. Researcher Ali Raza does what he calls molecular sensory science. That means you can enhance the flavor of food, not with additives, but by chemically manipulating the compounds in it. He is advising Professor Zuniga's team to make algae go down a little easier. Which is going to naturally enhance some amino acids and sugars in algae, and those are going to give us a Good taste later on when we are going to add it in guacamole. But are the astronauts going to have tortilla chips? Maybe. <laughs> in February, researchers expect to present their space guac concoction at NASA's Human Research Program Conference in Texas, where they almost certainly will have tortilla chips. Thomas Fudge, KPBS News.